read after me first. Fei. 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 Mu. 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 Fei mu. Fei mu. Fei mu. Fei mu. Fei literally means not like a shell or you know uh, ocean like shell. Mu means the mother or the body of something. Fei mu. <coughs> Has two types, and they are in two different drawers. One is called Chuan de Yu, Chuan Bei Mu. Another one is called Zhe Bei Mu, Zhe Bei Mu. These two are from two different places. Chuan means Sichuan, uh, is on is a er from Sichuan province. Zhe is Zhejiang, another province on the east coast. But these two herbs actually are from two different plants. And uh, they have some common function, that's why they both are called Bei Mu, but there are some difference. For Chuan Bei Mu, you uh, try to remember it this way. Chuan is water, river, right? So Chuan Bei Mu, Actually, apart from the function of clearing heat, dissolving land, Chuan Mu has more moistening function. It actually <coughs> moistens the land. You see? Zhe Mu compared with Chuan Mu, Zhe Mu is even stronger in the cold nature or stronger in uh, cold nature. So Zhe Mu is more used to, uh, is stronger in opening something in perfect country. It's stronger in cold and bitter taste and nature, and uh, it's stronger in opening something of perfect country. So if you compare the difference of these two. This one is also for plant heat, but it's more used for early taste when they raise what? For like long yin deficiency or long dryness, something like that, right? And for this one, it's stronger in clearing heat, so it's for plant heat or more acute taste. And also what, this is used to treat the nodules. You too have like heat or fire. Like what? Like scrofular, this kind of conditions, you see? So to dust the nodules, we use Java Mu. When there is more heat, we use Java Mu, more fire, but when there is more uh, dryness or inefficiency, we need to moisten the lawn more, so we use chambin, chambin. That's a general difference between these two. But for this herb, number one, Bei Mu is a very good herb for cough. <clears throat> number two, what is more applicable to the case is for like have this two in your mind. That's more the general idea about this herb. <clears throat> well, in case of the practice, you know, Bei Mu is generally bitter, sweet, and slightly cold. And uh, it enters, you know, the lung of course, but they will also enter the heart because of the strong fire and so on, can be more related to the heart. In functions, they move, first of all, can do a clear heat, it's all flat. Clear heat and uh, dissolve light. 
So generally speaking, both Kanban Mu and Java Mu can be used for Then people have like how is yellow space black. They can both be used to treat this. So we mentioned that the formula uh to find time line. We mentioned three move follow side. And so for this kind of condition, and uh, in this formula, you can use either. But comparatively, these two herbs have some difference. Travel mode can also moisten the lungs. So when the risk, for example, that the cough due to <clears throat> like dryness, dry heat, or uh, when the patient has yin deficiency, or long dryness, or long yin deficiency, together with a flat heat, time mode is more appropriate. But in this case, you can see what you know, plant can be even thicker. Of the house is still yellow. <clears throat> right? And the amount, if you analyze, can be a little less than before. So, when it goes like this, you know, that's more of an indication of traveling. And you can use other herbs at the same time to moisten the lung, like Sheng Bi, Mai Dong, Mu. And so you can feel like this. <coughs> but there's a risk of dry heat attacking the blood. Be careful. The most typical formula for cough due to dry heat actually use Zhebei Mu instead of Hanbei Mu. Why? You know, when dry heat just attacks the body, dry nerves and the heat together very often make the heat manifestation stronger. Or it's more like a fire at the same time. Also, in the future, if we gradually damage more and more body flow, then we need strong, we need stronger herbs to burn the fire or clear the dry heat. That's why you, that formula is called Sanxing Kang. is normally seen in separate form or not. In Sanxing Tang, we use Zhebei instead of Chuanbei. So when you analyze the indication of these two herbs, Chuanbei can treat blood heat, it can moisten the lung, it can take care of the dryness of the yin deficiency. Zhebei is strongly important fire, clearing heat. If there is more dry heat, Heat is strong, we still want to use Java to treat the pathogen, of course. You see? That's a little bit um, <coughs> difficult to follow. And uh, for Java, no. you know, we mentioned that it's strongly important fire. And that's the uh, and that's painting logic. We'll talk about that later because we have a second function. But here, it's strongly important fire, so mostly it's used for modern for cause, for example, due to flame heat, but this is more excess or there is not uh, severe non yin deficiency or non trainers. And when the heat is stronger, it's probably more appropriate. You see? 
So that's a general difference. And uh, you know, for the flat heat, Huimu is also very often used with Jimu. Huimu and Jimu are very often used together too. And there is a formula called R Mu San. R is two. Mu, you say we have Mu in both of the middle names or both of these two words. Uh, other formulas, you know, lots of different formulas for you know, this or for this, because this is such a common condition. So we only want to address the difference between these two words so that we know in which case we show use relation. That's the word function. Well, the second function is, sorry for the 